Hello, Magic players. Did I hit record? Yeah, I did. Hello, Magic players. It's Corn, and you already know what time it is. Maybe you don't. It's breakfast time. It's 7.06 a.m. So, I am actually eating as I'm doing this new Capenna draft. That should probably be done eating by the time I'm done picking cards. Got me an egg burrito with a lot of eggs, a decent amount of cheese, and a little bit of sriracha. Very simple, very elegant, very delicioso. I'd like to do a stream one of these days. We'll see how it goes. I could be a Twitch streamer. <laughs> You don't have to have a webcam for that, do you? If I ever set up a webcam, it's going to turn into a, like a weird mukbang channel for all the like people who want to watch a guy with long blonde hair eat a big ass burrito. I'm sure they're out there. I'm not sure that's what I want my channel to be, though. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Um, probably Giada. Right? Fatal Grudge is decent. Ghostmaster is decent. Obscura Charm. I don't think I would first pick. Like, even if I do go Esper, I'd rather have Giada. Or do I try to go Tribal Angels? That would be impractical. But I will second pick an Inspiring Overseer, if there's nothing better. Mm-hmm. That one's kind of a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's more of a brainer. Um, Discipline Duelist is pretty solid. So is Kill Shot. I've seen that guy do some serious work, but also just straight removal. Pretty solid. Riveteer's Requisitioner is good. This, I don't think, is good. The chances of actually getting it to pop off and limited are pretty low. Do you think Duelist is more powerful than Requisitioner? If I end up going Naya, I'll feel stupid. Um... Could always just grab the kill shot. I mean, it is removal. We'll get him. May end up not running him, but oh well, if so. Um, there's another kill shot. I think that means I'm supposed to take this one. I'm not crazy about everything, anything else in this back anyway. <gasps> Widespread thieving is probably one of the worst hideaway cards. Especially in limited. Mm. Mm hmm. Well, I guess I'm in brokers. Um, black red looks wide open though, which worries me. Like if I had taken that first fatal grudge, would I would have two body droppers? I've been kind of ignoring them, but I still seen them there. Um. At the very least, the three people to the right of me are not in Brokers. That or there's just better cards. I don't know. It's Brokers Charm Prize Fight, Hold for Ransom. I mean, there are like four good on color cards here. Hopefully, I get um, Lagrella. I'll have to start picking Fixing since I'm doing three colors. 
Anyone got any funny names today? Libation, very nice. Adjudicators, also very good. Might actually be better than Libation here. Libation's really solid, but Adjudicators is... Hmm. There's no way Libation wheels. Adjudicators probably doesn't wheel. But we're more likely to see another adjudicators than libation. Mm. Civil servant? I don't know. Shattered seraph? Or just the land? It's probably one of these three. Eh. Broker's Veteran is pretty solid, actually. Mm. I think I take Strong Arm over any of the rest of these. I don't want to run any of these cards, so I guess it's the Sawjack. How did Fatal Grudge get this far? Now that bothers me. Man, if I see that body dropper, I may have to just totally change. Well, if I second pick Ob, I'll have to change. See, I'm not gonna run that anyway. I might run Security Bypass, though. Maybe. Probably not. Three two drop creatures, three three drop removal spells, one three drop creature. Void Rend is not worth changing my colors for, I don't think. It's either Overseer or Regulator. That does counters if you control a creature with a counter on it. I'd have to pay attention to how to do the stack if I play this with Gieta to give this the counter. I don't like the way they present the stack in um, in Arena because it just says first and last, and then I don't understand if it means what's going to resolve first or what goes on the stack first. So then I have no idea what order I'm actually putting things in. But yeah, I think that's Regulator. Um, probably grab Hideout. It's Hideout or Shattered Seraph. I mean... Witness Protection is also decent. Whoever's in black red is just getting value for days. For real. Maybe I should have just been like, alright, well, no one else is in Grixis, let's go Grixis. Um, but for now, I'm gonna grab Fixing. Uh, that'll be... Mmm. Mmm. I think another regulator is better, actually. Rafine's informant's really good too. Hmm. 
I do kind of want to run Shattered Seraph just for fixing, and I can even splash it. But Metamorphosis is also really good. Skycrier is decent. I think it's between these two. I don't know, am I low on creatures? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not really. Groundbreaker's decent. Crocodile's decent. I've won games with Crocodile before. Groundbreaker is pretty good though. She's not a citizen. One. Two. Oh, that goes good with Discipline Duelist. It is just like, it's the closest thing to a Luxodon Warhammer I'm gonna get. Metropolis Angel is a nice pickup this late in the draft. I think that's definitely the right pick with what I have going on. I am, like, painfully multicolored right now. At this rate, it's like if I miss one of my colors, <clears throat> I'm in a really tough spot. So I probably want to pick up a parcel. Yeah, we're practically an even color split at this point. Yeah. Mm. I really doubt I'm going to hit multiple gathering throngs. Obscure is wide open, too. What is everyone doing? Like, is everyone doing mono red? What's happening with this draft? I didn't finish looking at everyone's names. Permutation, Lilium, Bulga 90B. No one has any funny, silly names. At least not this time. Shattered Sarah fixes for itself, so I can run it as a splash. Snoop. That's dead. Um... Pickpocket or Darling of the Masses? I think Darling of the Masses is more likely to wheel. Which is a weird way to look at it, but it's true. So don't really need it. It's good with Ceremonial Groundbreaker, don't get me wrong. It is good. Two lands. Let's just take the lands out to keep my count right. Crowbar. Would you kindly find a crowbar or something? I think that's right. Is that courtyard, prize fight, or freelance muscle? Give freelance muscle trample with the groundbreaker. That'd be really good. I really doubt he wheels. Could have a few civil servants if I'd be picking them, but meh. I did not go the citizen plan, and I'd kind of like to grab a pummeler, but I think crowbar's just too good to pass up. Alright, Skycrier? 
Obscura Initiate? Someone could have three widespread thieving, which is just awful. I, I'm not even joking. Oh, Paragon. Paragon is good. It's a good four drop. It's an angel. It gets counters. Mm hmm. Look at this. This stupid card. Broker's Initiate is the most on flavor. I think I want another hideout, though. Like, I don't really need a one-drop creature. I mean, let's see. One, two, three, four other angels than Gieta. I'd like a few more. I really like an Inspiring Overseer. There's no way one makes it this far, though, right? Mmm. Mmm. My thought process. Ouch. Uh, Botanical Plaza is good. Celebrity Fencer is okay. Rocks Pummeler might be a better pick than the Regulator here. Just so I have more bombs, but I think just Regulators flying in for the win is a legitimate strategy. I could Splash Quaza. It's either Splash Quaza or get more fixing. I'm not going to Splash Quaza. Even though, like, if any card is worth splashing for Esper. Right now I have one Shattered Seraph. That would be my only way to get Black Mana. Halo Scarab's decent. Broker's Veteran. Um, Prize Fight. Price fight is very solid here. Now I'm one over. No idea what to drop. Maybe Gardener. Meh. Maybe even Groundbreaker. Well, I kept talking about wanting a Rocks Pummeler, so that's what I get, I guess. I don't think I run most wanted. And we're done picking. I'm only one card over. We're not going to be running a swamp. Silly auto deck builder, land builder thingy. Alright, and I will be right back. And I'm back. Alright. <clears throat> back to deck building. Um, I did finish eating, like, right, <clears throat> right as I finished picking cards. 41 cards. I mean, it's one over. How many creatures... 15 versus 10 That's not exactly ideal But it looks fine to me Because this makes a creature And a lot of these are 1, 2, 3, 4 removal spell, 5 removal spells Quote unquote removal spells um, Definitely cut that swamp and then we have an even color split. Um, less green than the others, but Skybridge Towers, I guess, accounts for that in the lands. Actually, wait. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. I only have six green cards. So I could have splashed Quaza and gone uh, black instead. Realistically. Too late now, of course. I'm just thinking if I could drop green. I can't. Nope. There we go. 16 lands, which might come back to bite me, but I don't think so. I think it'll be alright. If after game... Five color. If after game one, I just, like, don't hit land drops and lose because of it, then I'll definitely add in a 17th land. Timable Berlin, whatever that means. That could be their actual name. Um, yeah, sure. Sure. So we start with Skybridge Towers, Broker's Veteran, Discipline Duelist. We have Witness Protection to mess with their stuff. A land is the last thing we wanted to draw, but whatever. Uh, he's got something. He's got multiple things, right? Or does he have Make Disappear? And he's just thinking about using Make Disappear. Bro, what are you doing? Aha! Adjudicators. You got the Adjudicator. No, he wasn't in my draft pool, but Adjudicators is really good. I wish I had got one. Jewel Thief is pretty legit. Um... Discipline Duelist does quote-unquote trade with Jewel Thief. Hold for Ransom, that's pretty good. anything that costs double green. I do not. So. But I have an island and I already have double white, so I guess that's a forest. Attacks. I'd rather be able to put a shield counter on the strong arm or something. It's not Sparas. Not sure why he didn't play Sparas. Oh, because he wants to double play. Yeah. My turn. Strong arm. Just hard cast it. Counters on itself. No attacks. Now he probably plays Adjudicators, I would think. Unless he has something better in that hand. Yeah. Do I trade veteran for veteran? I think I actually do. Now we have shield counters. We both each have shield counters. Okay, um, I just have to pass. I forgot to use Seraph. That was a bad, a bad problem. Sure. Ah, uh, well. turn. Play Broker's Veteran. They both lose their shield counters if he decides to block. But he could also just block with one of his 1-1s, one and then I'd lose my shield counter for almost nothing. <sighs> He's 
just gonna start cracking lands to draw. He's ahead enough on lands that he can afford to. I could also just use this to draw too. Which might be the play here. Ugh, that's ugly. It's so ugly. Trample. Ugh. Um. Give my boy an extra shield counter. We'll just draw two off this. Uh, hide out for uh, planes, I guess. All right, we're taking the slow game here. Because I think that's the play. Take it nice and slow like. First things first. Try to kill shot that. And I can give up one shield counter to destroy his saw jack. And then all he has is one drops. All he has is literally 1-1s. One ones. Two 1-1s one ones that he can equip that to. I play Seraph and gain some life. Voice of the Vermin's decent. Skycrier's decent, too. Um... Do I hold up Libation and Prize Fight? That seems kind of crazy, actually. But he's gonna gain some serious life if I don't. Um, I can run out of town and prize fight. Or something else. Um, Cause I think what he does is he equips Groundbreaker to Cryer and then swings with it. And Voice of the Vermin and buffs Voice of the Vermin. Yeah, that's rough, because he's gonna get in for, what, six? Ouch. That's a citizen. You didn't have to pay three mana for that. But that's okay. Every misplay he makes is exactly what I need to happen. Yep. I just block with strong arm. If he has four of the family, I'm dead. Okay, I untap into a boatload of removal. These are all instants. I am waiting. I don't think I could afford to swing in and him have a surprise kill shot, you know? I just use prize fight. Oh, he's digging for something.
Okay. What now? Do I crack my land? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With the treasure, I think I can afford to. Yeah, drawing a land I definitely can afford to. Bruiser. He must not be drawing relevant cards, since he keeps cracking lands to draw. Only have 17 cards left in deck? Shoot. Let's tap down his backup agent. And swing with these two. Still, I can get him in just a few turns. Like, depending on what he plays, I could probably kill him pretty quick. He's gonna try to make that unblockable. I probably run out of town that just to do it. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah. Let's run that out of town. Run that crocodile out of town. Kind of figured he put that on top. Um. Play Giada. So with these three. Pretty sure I have lethal next turn. Unless he's like super duper clever. But he's playing crocodile and I think that's all he's got. I can't imagine he has more things. Especially not tricks, like does he have a kill spell as his last card? Nope, duelist. Okay, that's GG then. So that's eight, yeah. No reach, no reach. Cool. That'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so. Yeah, that's lethal. There we go. Flying over for the win. At four life, that was a struggle. That was a game right there. That was like, whew. I was, I felt like I was losing for most of that. But they kept trying to push for the kill. That's probably what did it. And I was a little short on lands around the mid game. Maybe turn five, six, seven. It's like missing land drops did kind of hurt, but I don't know. I don't feel like it was that big a deal. This is awful. If I had an island, it'd be good, but... Not having my colors is kind of a problem. Mm. I'll end up shuffling before I get down to the bottom of the deck. Grifter's pretty good. Mord? I don't remember if they were in my draft table.
disciplined duelist. He duels with his fists. No, because then he's just gonna connive. I'll take the one, and you'll play your three drop. Maybe I glitched his brain out and he thinks that I blocked. Nothing? And I'll swing back at you for two. Right into your psionic snoop. No? No psionic snoop? I have a duelist. If you were going to do that anyways, you should have done it during your own combat. And he got rid of witness protection. That seems kind of weird. I don't mind giving up the shield counter to kill his grifter. Assuming I draw a couple more lands, I should be able to do lots of things. Does he have whack? That would hurt. That would hurt a lot, actually. If he swings, I do block. Yeah. At worst, I lose my shield counter. And... Oh! Ho ho ho! That was weird. That was very weird. I'm not entirely sure why that happened that way. But I guess I'm not going to question it. And then I'll swing for six. <laughs> okay, let's think about this. This was a two, three. So it became a three, four. Uh, no blocks. Half a tapped two, two. Legiata. Yeah, I mean, I'm just hitting him hard enough that I don't really care what he does. That was stupid. The only reason I'm winning right now is because he thought quick draw dagger with that would work differently than it did. I think what happened was it dealt all three of its damage during first strike. To remove the it didn't like deal one damage to remove the first to remove the shield counter it dealt all three damage and removed the shield counter and then it didn't have any more damage to deal well that's rough um i can still swing out though i think swinging out is still correct Shield on Gieta. Do your little milly thing. Uh, and equip the crowbar. So he has to have like a flying blocker or a removal spell that gets around shield counters. And a flying creature might not even do it if I draw a land. Ooh, he didn't have either. Phew. I am amazed that I won that one as well. I'm winning games that I shouldn't be winning. I was on three lands all game and just went super hard. Discipline Duelist. My opponent's one misplay made the whole game. Maybe I should really be running one more land, but uh, the way things are going, I don't, I don't want to mess with it. <clears throat> Let's 
Skelly Roo! I feel like I've played against them before. You start to recognize some of these names. I guess. Like, I need to draw my third land for it to be good, but... This is an island. I don't want it to show me the forest on top. It was a seraph on top. Okay. Another grifter deck. Sure. Um, play bruiser. Play defense. Now it's forest or bust. And it is bust. That sucks. It is still forest or bust for, like, the rest of this game. I can only hope they're in a similar enough situation that, like, their land isn't good. Well, even if his land isn't good, now that he has that, it's gonna... Alright, so if it loses all abilities... If it has an enchantment that says it loses all abilities, but then it still has... Did he still miss a land drop? Okay. Okay. We have to try to kill that, then. If he's just stuck on lands. I know I said I hoped he's stuck on lands, but it does feel kind of dirty. The Regulator! Swing and Pendulum. I like to get max value out of the regulator, but right now just having a 2-3 that can block that is pretty good. Does he have, like, sticky fingers? Yeah. That's gonna give him some mana fixing. Some very dangerous mana fixing. Especially if he starts pumping it up with the lifelink. Sure, bye-bye Pummeler. Like I was ever going to get the mana to play that. I don't know if witness protection on this is correct, but I'm doing it. Uh, am I okay with that trade? Yes, I think I am. To get a shield counter on the regulator. Three cards in hand. I have one. I have an overwhelming board presence, though. Or an underwhelming board presence. So it turns out that that does eliminate all the abilities. Four abilities removed. See, so it does remove abilities from enchantments. I wonder if it matters the order it goes in. I mean, that's nine if he just takes it. Does he have a buff spell of some kind? He can't cast Libation. It could be Fake Your Own Death. Oh, dig up the body. That's pretty solid, actually. And he got a Heart Stabber. Is this the same dude? This, this is not the same dude I just played against. And Corpse Appraiser, probably. Yeah. He can only play one of those unless he drew a Swamp. Okay, so he's gonna play the Corpse Appraiser, exile one of my creatures and draw, or he's gonna anticipate, excuse me. That's not as simple as draw. 
guess I'll find out if that's at 5 when he plays it. If it is, that makes my attacks a lot worse. Farcel. Okay. Does he not have a... He has a 1 drop. It's at 4 or 5. Okay. I wonder what I hope to draw here. Probably not that. Um, I do think I still keep swinging out, though. Odd choice. Alright, I guess this is a forest. Just so that I have an even color split. <clears throat> oh, he can pop parcel to kill the duelist. And I can't swing with Bruiser right now. Unless I get something that gets counters on it. Caldea Strong Arm would be pretty good. Oh no, is it going to be the reverse of last game? Because my opponent got me down to 4 life, but then I won. I really hope it's not the reverse of last game, where I get my opponent down to 4 life and then they win. This architectural style, though is just everywhere. I don't even know what these things are called, but it's just everywhere in this set. These, uh, it reminds me of movie theaters. <clears throat> I'm not sure why. Maybe they have those in movie theaters. Graveyard shift for another corpse appraiser. That puts in a five drop, so now heart stabber is a real good blocker. But if I draw, like, Run Out of Town, or something like that, or again, um, it's called Caldea Strong Arm. Yeah, if I draw Caldea Strong Arm, I think I can win. Kill Shot does not do it. Um, do I swing with Duelist and just let them trade? I don't think so. I think I'm waiting for the opponent to attack. Come on, guy, you know you want to swing with your flyer. No. Pickpocket is good. Okay. Yeah. I pretty much discard whatever else I draw. Like, I we can't think what would be better than kill shot here. There's probably something, though. Well, not forest. But let's bounce that. Force the issue here. That way he. Does he have fake your own death? Because that would hurt. Goes down to two. Probably pops parcel to kill the pickpocket, right? Yeah, anything that gives counters is the ideal draw here. <sighs> A land wouldn't be the worst, because then I get to play Seraph and have another threat. Getaway car. Doesn't really seem worth it here. Paragon's decent. Um, Doesn't have a counter right away, but... If I can keep it around until next turn. If it doesn't get Murder. Or Maestro's Charm. 
Yeah, being able to give that a counter and swing with both of these would have been... Would have been nice. Let's put it that way. I think I actually could have won the turn that I played the pickpocket if I discarded kill shot. No, no, he had the, uh... The what's it called? I'm not... I'm not blocking. I am not the blocker here at this point. That is not what I do. What would it do? Or you discard one or more cards, exile them from your graveyard. When it dies, put the exile cards into their owner's hand. You conniving son of a gun. Alright, um... I think Caldea Strongarm still wins it. Giada does not. But Giada does let me play Shattered Seraph next turn. Oh, it exiles it face up. Because it doesn't specify it. That's kind of cool. I would think it would exile face down, but I think if something's going to be exiled face down, it has to specify. Does this say when it dies or when it leaves? When it dies. Let's just kill shot it. If he only has one blocker, he's dead. So he kind of wants to dig up the body here and now. Even with two blockers, he's dead. Maybe I was supposed to just take the four. Oh, shoot. Seraph doesn't make me win because Gieta won't be able to attack. Hmm. But he has to generate a flying blocker. I haven't seen any other Obscura Initiate. He does have a Flying Blocker. Oh, shoot. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, Give up Bruiser. I guess it was smart to play the... Um... Uh... Oh no! Is that goodbye Giada or is that goodbye Regulator? Um, we'll say goodbye Regulator. The Regulator, swinging pendulum. Oh, what a game! What a game, though. That was a weird way to win. Just top deck the Regulator. <laughs> I guess it didn't matter which one of those I kept. The idea was Giedo was better because then I could cast Seraph, gain some life, and have a 5-5 flying. Another game I feel like I maybe shouldn't have won. And that's, that's kind of alright with me right now. Like to go through this. A lot of close calls. Close Encounters of the Bant kind. Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind is one of the few horror movies that really scared the crap out of me when I saw it. I mean, not really, not like, like, I didn't, like, oh, uh, wah, and then just poop, right? I, like, it was just a scary movie. It made me scared. I'd look out the window and think there were gonna be freaking aliens. Dobby. Did you know that Dobby is gay? I'm just joking. That's that whole controversy with uh, J.K. Rowling, who keeps coming up with the weirdest shit to just tack on to Harry Potter and be like, uh, but did you know that it's canon that this character is actually trans? Uh, shut up. No one cares. It's Pride Month. Uh, it's not really Pride Month. I think that's a stupid idea. Like, hey, let's all celebrate this thing that we don't all agree with. 
Why? Why do I have to celebrate a thing I don't agree with? I don't agree with celebrating things I don't agree with. Just looking at Giada. Looking at Giada. Looking at Giada, yeah. No way I'm blocking that. No way. you from untapping and now I can pretend I'm tribal angels that's the damnation sleeve wonder if that glitches out the video well really it would glitch out my recording software also brokers. It really is. Close encounters of the bant kind. Um. What? Like, dude, I'll block with the regulator. I don't know what you thinking. Uh, let's just swing out. Everything decent I have is instant speed. I have four pretty good instants. I probably snoop de whoop here. Um, maybe metamorphosis is better, actually. I think I metamorphosis and block that, and it still draws me a card. Metro Angel is pretty good here. And then I just swing with Regulator. He can probably swing back with Initiate, but I don't think I care. Like, drawing a card is pretty good. Or do I just, like, swing with Regulator, hold up the fight spell? I think this is right. Oh, I didn't even think about that getting more counters. Wow, I really am Tribal Angels this game. Yeah, the with Metropolis Angel getting two plus one counters, that was definitely the right play. I forgot about Giada's most powerful ability. I also forgot I kind of have an extra mana. Alright, what you gonna do? What you got? What you got? You got removal. That's what you got. You got removal and you got big attacks. I will block the 1-1. One, one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was gonna say, Libation for one is pretty good, but... Alright. Now I'm in something of a situation. Um... Do I pickpocket? Or do I hold up a removal spell? Because that's five, six, seven, eight. He's not gonna be able to attack ever, though. Okay, um... Could bounce sleep with the fishes. That would be really stupid. Um, I feel like I play him and bounce the fish. That way he doesn't have any unblockable stuff, and I just have to hold up and try to survive. Because otherwise I'm only playing one of these three drops. Duelist is not ideal here. If he has another libation, I'm dead no matter what. If he has another sleep with the fishes, 
I'm almost dead. Dead next turn, let's say. Strong arm, that's pretty darn good. Um... Block here and here, take five. Go to one. Sure, now I have two instants. So let's just not attack. Uh... I get to play two instant speed things, which is probably fight spell kill shot. He has ways he could win. He just swings out, thinking that he's got it. Um... I think I probably play Snoop prize fight. This will tell me if he has anything. So he has something he can play. Probably pitch Paragon. I mean, it kind of doesn't matter, so... Maybe I should have done the prize fight before declaring blockers in case he has knockout blow. If I lose to knockout blow, it's my fault. If I lose to, like, libation or any other buff spell, then meh. Okay. That was probably a smart play on his part. Who am I kidding? Probably. That was a smart play on his part. Um, let's regulate things. Cleanup crew. Sure. Well, that's a target for kill shot if ever I saw one. I would gain four if I'm him. Yeah. To put myself a little bit further out of range. I'll block it. Best believe I'll block it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Three... If I play that as a kill spell, I can survive next turn for sure, so... Plus one O, and then deals damage equal to its power. That's probably better. Um, Witness Protection does nothing right now. Um... So I can't afford to play... If I do play strong arm, then any removal spell kills me. Actually, either way, any removal spell kills me, so I may as well play strong arm. Put the counters on itself. Oh, shields are down. I'm scared. I don't see how that would have been a misplay, though. Because either way, I'm dead to a removal spell. I guess if he has a big buff spell, then that was a misplay. Knockout blow's pretty good. Alright. Two, 
two, three, four. I can crack that and draw. But I don't see myself doing anything other than kill shot. Pushing me over the line, Dobby. All right. The regulator. Ooh, I gain a life. That's fun. <laughs> Let's gain a life. Yeah. Let's regulate. I don't expect anything with haste. Oh, and that draws me a card. I didn't even think about Metropolis Angels. Has been relevant twice since it's been tapped down. So just the strong arm. I'm not in a hurry. Oh, I can force blocks next turn. Oh, he has something. Wonder what it be. I can technically afford to swing out. Um, doesn't mean I want to. So I'll swing out just enough to force blocks. In case he has a creature with flash, you know? Whoo. Whoo, he got me down to one. Got me down to one life. Okay, I still have two counters, right? As long as there are two or more counters among creatures you control. Let's give you a shield counter. Would you kindly find a crowbar or something? Um... Witness protection kind of doesn't matter here. Can I swing with both of them? Yeah. Draw. He has to block. Counters to itself. Very nice. Very, very nice. The Regulator! It doesn't actually tap down, it only taps. GG. GG's. These have been fun games, made extra fun by the fact that I'm winning them. But they've also all felt like close calls, and if I made even a slight misplay, I would have lost them. Rewarding gameplay, let's put it that way. Hearing something make crazy noise outside. I think the neighbors are cutting metal with a saw, and that's what the crazy noise I hear outside is. I just went and looked out there. Because I just hear, like, this weird screeching, and I've been hearing it for days now, and I have no idea. I had no idea what it was. Now I kind of know. Only human. <clears throat> I'm only human. That's a song, right? This is a forest. I think I already hit keep. This is not a good hand. Angel Artifact Creature. 
it becomes the, um, what's it called? <laughs> Paragon of Modernity. That's pretty. It's got the little Planeswalkers symbol or whatever this symbol's supposed to mean. As long as we're here, I don't like the commander sets. Let me just say that much. Bronze tier. What am I doing against a bronze tier player? I mean, and he still might beat me, right? Like, I was a bronze tier player with essentially the same amount of experience as a magic player. Yeah, I don't like commander sets. Because they made a lot of my old cards lose value back when I did play with actual cards. Um, I know that's kind of a petty reason, but I also just don't like the, like, modern masters, these sets that aren't a regular set. I don't like them. Because they're not any new plotline, they're not any new cards, really. They're just, like, reprints, mostly. And then they make up cards that, like, they don't fit into any world. They don't fit into any context. They're just there for the gameplay. Which, sure, I get it. Whatever. But, I still don't like it. You'd have to play something pretty good for me to run it out of town. I don't know if Broker's Veteran... Putting the shield counter on Bruiser is actually good. I'm thinking if he plays something hasty. Jewel Thief is decent. That'll be something to... Uh, kill using Metamorphosis. He's like, wait, you have something, don't you? Yes, yes I do. I also don't mind trading the bruiser with that. <clears throat> Which puts me in an advantageous position concerning combat tricks. Crew captain is indestructible as long as it just entered. That's pretty good. Well, bouncing crew captain <clears throat> is kind of bad. Um, I still don't mind trading out the bruiser. Yeah, okay, here we go. I actually drew the card, so there's Paragon, there's that. It looks more like Shattered Seraph. Although, it, Paragon has a spear, not a twin blade. Let's do it. You got four cards left. Riveteer's Charm, that's pretty good. That is removal. Jetmere's Fixer. That is also kind of removal. Um, let's just pickpocket for now. Pitch the island and bounce. I could bounce the... Nah, bounce the Fixer. Got two pseudo removal spells now. Well, that's gonna be a one-one. If anything.
Let's see. I feel like Broker's Veteran is the right choice here. Could be wrong. Can run out of town the Fixer and then Witness Protection the Heavy. I don't mind making that trade and getting a shield. Shield on the pickpocket. Not the worst. Not the best. He's... The thing is, we're both low on cards. That means he put Fixer on bottom. Which means he wanted something else. Fixer wasn't good enough. I've already run through most of my removal. Security rocks is a problem. Pummeler is pretty good, though. All he has to do is crack the land and then ping to remove that shield counter. If he has whack or something like that, is it whack and deal gone bad? Or even strangle. The regulator! Swing and pin Julim! Alright. Let's do it. Iskedi. You don't have the mana to crack something and do that. I guess he just hopes he top decks like Corpse Explosion or something. Yeah, Corpse Explosion for three. Does he have a three power creature? Yeah. Corpse Explosion for three would be the best play. Don't you dare play Corpse Explosion for three. Um, let me think. If I swing out, he blocks the two biggest. He still takes four. I think that's correct. Sure, because now I'm still flying over for the win. As long as he doesn't have A, removal, or B, a flying creature, which he didn't. I kind of want to take just a second and look at what he built, because it seemed like a pretty okay deck. Um, Capenna Express is garbage, though. No reason to run that. Other than that, very solid Riveteers deck. Like, other than this off the top being an awful card. Um, rest of the deck was pretty solid. No one should run Capenna Express. Like, no one. No one should run that card. Just don't. Don't. I need to get more water. <coughs> but I already started this game. Goif, is that the, like, Japanese symbol for Tarmo? Do they have a symbol for Tarmo? Tarmo Goif. Asian Goif. I'll keep this. This is gonna be a Plains, because then at least Regulator's playable. Sure. Don't want to block while I have nothing to put the shield counter on. He might just use removal anyway. Keeps looking at it like he's gonna. The regulator! It doesn't do the good, Tappy. Uh, if he spends his mana killing the regulator, uh, it doesn't eat up his turn. I take the two, if that be the case.
I was gonna say ideally forest, but you know, that's pretty close. So I'm gonna just regulator. Hold up metamorphosis. Which I'm not even gonna play anyways. Get a shield counter. Play Metro Angel. Swing for draw. He must have some kind of removal with the way he's looking at my cards. Gieta, you would have been a lot better earlier. I guess if I draw land, I can Gieta Paragon, and Paragon will enter with three plus one counters. Just like a four drop five five is pretty solid. Bro, what are you doing? You played one card. You must have some kind of sacrifice. He's gonna fatal grudge to kill both my creatures. Ouch. Okay, that's not quite as bad. It's still pretty bad, though. Because he gets all this value. Multiple Girder Goons, or just Girder Goons and uh, Rafine Silencer. Rafine Silencer might actually be better. Planes? Very nice. Uh, so we'll play G8 to Paragon. And swing for three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, potentially 10, 11. So, if he doesn't have some kind of removal or something, I just pump up Paragon and hit him really hard. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11. Yeah, he can blitz it. I'm not gonna block it. Hmm, what's he gonna do? Antagonize. Hit me for more damage. It's almost like he knows he's dying. Almost. Um. Either way, it buffs it by two. And then I can just swing out. There we go. GG. Died to tribal angels. <laughs> angels is an annoying deck in actual constructed. My AC is still broken. Hey, well, so far we're going undefeated. First pick G Ada, build around tribal angels with counters. I guess this is what happens when you decide on a three color combination early on and other people don't decide on the same. I'll keep this. Multiple regulators is pretty good. Bruiser's actually been better than I thought.
Sure, two grifters is pretty good. <clears throat> Regulator's pretty good. running them out because who knows when I'm going to get actual plus ones or any kind of counters. Yeah, you can make your grifter connive. I almost just called this evolve. <laughs> hey, you know what though? This card is really good with um I forget what it's called, the two drop that makes activated abilities of your creature cost less. Two drop some kind of pet it's blue green 2-2. Two, two. Let's you continue to evolve creatures and makes activated abilities of your creature cost two less. Simic pet, maybe? But that's good with that, because then this would only cost one mana. You could just pay one connive, pay one connive. Odd choice. I guess that lets you get him for damage. Mm. If I put on full control, can I play this respond to its own ETB trigger by playing Metamorphosis? Bouncer's beat down. I guess that was wrong. Should have blocked first. Oh, that 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 really sucks, actually. Andy has metamorphosis. Sheesh. I mean, that's, that's like the deciding factor right there. GG. I, should, I guess I should have played it, done the draw discard, discarded Metamorphosis, and then used Kill Shot. A little late for that now. Ouch. I need, like, Rocks Pummeler. Not a Plains. Definitely not a Plains. I think that's GG. I don't have anything else I could do that would actually make a difference. Alright, well, we are not undefeated. That's what I get for saying I was undefeated. You get defeated for doing that. Them's kinds of shenanigans. That'd be a good name for a bar, huh? Shenanigans. Yeah, bro, I'll meet you at shenanigans. We'll grab a pint. I don't go to bars anymore. I'm straight edge. I haven't even drank coffee in like, uh, four days as of today. That's my last drug to give up is coffee. Tank, ton, ton tank? Tauntauns? Um, no. Yes. Uh, I think Crowbar is better than Veteran. Because it can remove artifacts and enchantments, which there are a few powerful artifacts and enchantments in this format. Not a lot, but there are some. Stop right there. Wait, no. Hello, citizen. Hail, citizen. It's 
get snooping. Yeah. Gonna snoop it up. Snoop it up, snoop it down. I feel like the last three games have all been started with grifters. Get snooped. Is he stuck on land? No. Alright. Not that Snoop would have done much to the Grifter anyway. What do I draw? Prize fight. Hmm. I think using libation here is okay. Ooh, well, that's pretty good. He was probably gonna do that either way, too. Now what, I have three removal spells and two weak creatures. could use this for card draw. If he doesn't do anything, I'd probably use this for card draw. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Um. Broker's Charm would let me kill the Civil Servant. I can swing with Snoop D O double G. Snoop Snoop P I S O whatever. Or I could just draw two cards. I could just not do anything. Wait. And probably still wait and draw on their turn. Even though I miss a land drop, I think it's worth it. Just in case they play something I want to use this on. Could be fight rigging. Fight rigging would be worth killing with Broker's Charm. Rafine's Informant, sure. Seems pretty good. This is probably going to be divination here in a second. I like that it's a wax seal and it has the author's, I mean the artist's, <laughs> the author's, the artist's signature in the corner. <clears throat> but it's also, since it's like a seal on a letter, kind of works, you know what I mean? Just draw two. Which was definitely the right play, considering what just what I just uh, drew through two non-lands, so I would have been short on lands for a while. Um, I can hold a prize fight, but I don't think it's really worth it. I think getting down a flyer is more worth it. If only Rock's Pummeler was an angel creature type, and I could cast it with G-Ada. But that wouldn't make a lot of sense now, would it? It'd be cool if they made, like, some angels that were just a bunch of fire and wings and eyeballs. Like, the angel creature type, I wonder if there are any. Like, there's been so much of Magic the Gathering, that's just a missed opportunity.
Oh, he had his own psychic pickpocket. <laughs> probably hits the citizen token. I'd probably hit the 2-2 two -two citizen token. Ideally, he misclicks and bounces the crowbar, but he might just be bouncing Gieta. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't really look like this is a winning game. Ah, uh, he didn't misclick and bounce the crowbar. Kill shot's decent. Um, gonna equip crowbar and prize fight or something. I don't know. I'm gonna just hit for two and pass. Three different spells I can play. Did not draw the land I needed. We're out of town on pickpockets, kind of bad. Slip out the back. Slip out the back would be pretty good, actually. Is he a rogue? Yeah. Rogue makes sense. Does he have something that sacrifices the broker's veteran and he's gonna sacrifice broker's veteran to put a shield counter? No. He might. He might have that and just think that pickpocket wasn't worth it. Hitting with Gieta is my primary strategy now. Okay, well. Kinda there goes that idea. Is he gonna prize fight? Whack. Rooftop nuisance, okay. Sure. Probably pitch the run out of town. That forces him to replay G8. Well, it doesn't force him to, but it makes it so that that's probably what he does. And then, depending on what he does, I can play Pummeler or Equip Crowbar or Prize Fight. Those are the options. Really wish my AC was working. It's bloody hot. If he swings with Civil Servant, I'll block with Pickpocket. Even if he has a combat trick, if he uses it to kill Pickpocket, I think I'm happy with that. Nope, no attacks. Broker Storm? Broker's Ascendancy. Wowee, that's pretty good. Um, play Pummeler and just swing with Gieta, I think. Could swing with Pickpocket and offer the trade, but... I feel like that's better after I tap something down. Broker's Ascendancy is getting better.
Uh, maybe using pickpocket would have been the better play. Oh, buy your silence. Well, that's a treasure. Let's regulate. Um, I could just prize fight now, but I don't think so. I think I equip this to Jada. Sure, take eight. And since I can do that any time during his turn, and I may not even want to besides that, I mean, he's dead to flying next turn. There's Gieta. What is he thinking? Your instep. Broker's charm. I think I'd rather not have that happen. Um, hmm. This is the only way to stop it, though. Is to use my own prize fight to try to get ahead of it. There you go. Dead Broker's Charm. Um, can I undo that? Thank you very much. Probably blocks Jada, right? Metamorphosis would do some damage. Turn target and only impermanent and opponent controls to its owner's hand. That's pretty good. To life. Have a flyer that can get in for lethal. Discipline duelist is not a citizen, it is a citizen. 
Sheesh. That alone doesn't actually get him out of it simply because kill shot. But if he has make disappear, then cracking that land is going to have been a terrible, terrible misplay. Yep. Go for it. Why didn't you swing? Why did you not swing? It's a little confusing. I'm going to go for lethal. Also gains flying and lifelink. Oof. Brutal. Uh, I am not in so good a spot now. And that's an Elspeth. Lifelink. Oof. Kill the one that I can. Ouch. Ouch. Well, that's about game, I think. I don't think even witness protection would save me, and I already used it, didn't I? I didn't, but that kinda doesn't matter right now. I don't know what I could possibly draw that would make a difference. Now that they have Elspeth, it's kinda eh. I had my one shot for the win. And I gave it up. I didn't give it up on purpose, though. And I don't think I would say that was a misplay, either. I really hate the art for Elspeth. The art for the new Elspeth makes it seem like not Elspeth. Should've just been some other character. Like she's supposed to be this cool spear-wielding warrior, and now she has a sword and she's dressed up like a dumb 20s chick. Vigilance or flying? Flying. Must be blocked if able. Yep, I said I was undefeated. That's why this is happening. That is exactly why this is happening. Last game. I'm not changing the deck. The deck was fine. If it won the first six games, it's not the deck that's the problem.
and we're back. I don't think I can keep this. Yeah, if I draw a forest, it's good, but... This, I guess, I can keep. Maybe should have kept the last one. This is not great. I have to top deck good cards. Last one had good cards, it just didn't have the land to support them. Grizzly Sigil. Took away my only creature. Now I can't do anything. I mean that. I actually can't do anything. Alright, well now I can do a thing. I hope he doesn't kill that. They have like whatever it's called, the rare that deals 7 damage to a creature. Ooh, he has a pugilist to blitz. That's one way to hit me for 5. I usually try to save pugilist personally. He plays his mask bandits, right? Yeah. Boo. Alright, run out of town. Where's he gaining all this life from? Grizzly Sigil and two theaters. I guess I haven't dealt that much damage. Kill shot. He's playing the Snoop just to get maximum value out of um, Evelyn. Even if it isn't technically the best play. Oh, it does also let him dig one. Pew pew. Bandits, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Zeatora the Incinerator. Well, that's just a little bit insane. For a thing to top deck. Assuming it was a top deck. Why would you do that? Oh, to burn me. Welly well well then. Let's go ahead and regulate that real quick. Um... 11. 11. I could hit for 11. Ah.
That would have only given it another plus one, yeah. Uh, pass. Oh, if he can burn me out, he can burn me out. If he can't burn me out, he can't burn me out. Those are the two ways this goes. If he has Colin a professional and Jewel Thief, then I'm dead. If he has any six power creature. Well, okay. Of all the things, that's not what I expected. Like, what is he... What... That seems like a bad play to me. What? Pugilist and what? Pugilist and what? What are you gonna do? I'm so confused. He knows I have an extra blocker. Zeatora. I don't... Does he have the mana to do both? If he does, then I guess he forces me to block the Pugilist. Five, six, seven, eight. Strangle. Uh. No thanks. Bruh. The girder goons. Doesn't matter, they're both 4-4s. Four four oh, so close. GG. GG, Pew Pew. That really was a good game, though. Got me down to 1. I had me scared there for a second. And that's all she wrote. We have won with Tribal Angels. The corniest deck in uh, the limited format. Probably won because I actually cut it down to 40. My problem is a lot of the times I'll leave it at like 42 or 43 cards and then I end up losing. Uh, what was the MVP? Regulator, for sure. Regulator was the all-star MVP. Pickpocket, also really good. Not going to underestimate that card anymore. That could be a first or second pick, honestly. Very good. Very cool. Six packs and lots of gems. Gems is what I want so I can draft more. Open up these packs real quick to... Uh, hey, my first Evelyn the Covetous. I guess I never pulled one before. Why is she stabbing her own drawing? of herself. Yeah, that's weird. Is that meant to be like a Dorian Gray reference? Anyway, y'all, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe, and other than that, that's all, folks.